Getting on stage was, was an incredible experience. Um, just the process of waiting backstage and then there's almost like a, a countdown there too, just like the whole process of prepping. And they're like, okay, you're about 30 minutes away. You know, start getting warmed up, start getting pumped up, and then, okay, 20 minutes. And then you start to see your competitors getting right in your area around you. And then you can either take it one, you can look at them and go, man, that guy looks better than me, or I don't look as good. And I truly, enjoyed every second of it. One of the questions I get asked all the time is, is how did you start in a business? How did you get your own business? You know, how does that happen? And we backed into it. Um, we had, I was working for an employer who ended up going out of business and he said, I don't have any more work for you. And me and Carla were newly married and had just built our first house together as a newly married couple and our backs are against the wall and you know basically I told her we don't have anything to lose if we start a company and that was really the catalyst that get us going is that we just had no other good options and really that pressure is what led us to success I believe. Starting the business scared me to death but I went with it and trusted him and I knew that he knew what he was doing and it worked out. And I know that anything that he sets his mind to do, he will do it, he will accomplish it and he'll be really good at it. That's, uh, that's his nature, that's his personality and that's his motivation is knowing that he can succeed and he does. Carla is always interested in me because when I get passionate about something, you know, if there's probably no stopping it. So she's learned to, I believe, work within it, kind of set boundaries and kind of a little bit like what Ray does, you know, keep me in line, but just don't diminish my, my efforts, my, my strengths, my, my drive to get what I want to get accomplished, accomplished. Yeah, of course, this is halfway done construction. It's kind of hard to even, for most people, to even visualize what the finished part is going to look like. And that's something that, you know, us that do this for a living can already see it. I mean, I see every finish, every detail done, and um, I, I, I'm, I trust that it's going to work out good. A lot like, I guess, my coach Ray will say, he trusts where he's going to take me to at the competition day. I don't see it, but he, he, I trust him. We've owned the Jason Carter Custom Homes now for 10 years, and like anything in life, I guess, I was obsessing over my business and not taking care of my health, and um, that reflected itself in just not handling stress properly, not eating well, uh, not managing time well as far as taking time off to do activities and sports and things like that. So I, I ended up getting very out of shape and I wasn't happy about it. And just as I felt like, if I can use the analogy of whenever we started the business, I was backed into a corner. I kind of felt like I didn't have anything to lose again. And I just went for it the same way. With everything I had, I put into it and um, and still put into it. Oh, I'm very proud of him for doing what he does. Um, I know that it's difficult. Uh, I don't cook, <laughs> and neither does he, so that makes it more difficult for him to stay in shape. He's very motivated, and when he sets his mind to it, he's always going to accomplish his goals. Um, and I support that 100%. I love the fact that he's in shape and healthy now, and it makes him happier. And it's easier to do business together, it's easier on our personal life, and um, I love the fact that he does it. Hold, four, three, two, one, five more. Hold, get it, come on. And last five. Five, four, come on. Uh, 
coaching, I feel that my job is not only just to lay out a diet outline and, and lay out a workout, but to also get to know my athletes and, and based on their personalities, kind of manipulate how I go to approach to motivate them. Jason is a very, very driven athlete, almost borderline overboard. So it's for those kind of athletes, it, 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 I need to actually take time to to slow them down so they understand that that sometimes more is not better. Not, not overdoing cardio, not overdoing training, not, not under eating, making sure that he's getting all of his food in and not worried that he's eating too much because I really need to get all that food in him to keep him full. So it's, it's creating a balance for the athlete because outside of training and, and working out, you need to make sure that balance is there or stress, cortisol, and overworking will tear away at your body. Some of the lagging points that we have are like, like last time we came in like two conditions, and, and a lot of that is is how hard you work. But like on Thursday when I was like no training, and then we came in here to take a look at you, and the first thing you walked over and started doing curls. <laughs> yeah, it it goes against my internal instincts to think that more isn't better. And and and, and that's that's just the the line that we need to take. It's like. When I say like no training or no cardio, it's like there's a reason for it. There you go. Keep it going. Oh, I lost that. One more each arm. Drop. Keep it going. Come on. Drop. Use your hand misnomers in this industry. There's some people who say you cannot overtrain. You know, people, they say people who say you can overtrain are just not trying hard. One, one, of, one of Jason's favorite things to do is go on the internet and look up stuff. <laughs> and there's so many things I research and learn and then I hear Jason talking to me and he's like things like, why can't I eat a cheesecake? And it's like, because you're not Flex Wheeler. Like, it doesn't work out that way. <laughs> I honestly had no intentions of ever competing. Um, I didn't even quite understand the drive to do it. And Ray Baker, my coach, I guess about three months into our relationship, said, you're gonna, you're gonna compete. And I said, no, I'm not. And I, he just taught me at the right moment. I guess I was tired after a workout or a week or something. But as soon as I agreed to it, I was not about to let him down, show up out of shape, not be committed, not just try to give it my all. And just the, the knowledge that in a few months, whatever it is, I think we prepped for my first show for four months, that you're gonna be on stage with people judging you about your physique was enough pressure um, and motivation to, to put, it, put me over the top. Jason's looking real great right now. Uh, only issue we're having is, is nerves. As he gets himself a little excited and a little stressed out, he starts burning through all that food that we're putting in him and starts spilling a little bit. So our, our main concern is just keeping his anxiety and his stress level down so he stays full and stays tight. A little nervous. All these young men look good. It's a big show, but I've done everything I can. I have prepared hard and I'm ready to have fun. Do, do what we do. And you either take it one, you can look at him and go, man, that guy looks better than me or I don't look as good. And I truly enjoyed every second of it. I, even the guys that look better than me, I was like, I mean, you look awesome. Good for you. Congratulations. I, the whole competitiveness was a one-on-one -on -one Jason versus Jason. That's how I took it. So walking up the stairs, holding on to the handrails, honestly felt like I can imagine getting on a bull at a rodeo or something. It was it was exciting but scary. And when I walked out and those lights hit me, I mean I I barely remember the experience. Jason.
as you saw by the video, my assignment was ridiculous, but that was honestly not prepared. That was just at the moment how I felt. I'm so grateful for everything, especially my wife, my coach, Destination Dallas, all my family and friends, this brother right here. I don't know what it was. It was almost like a weird validation in my mind that like you are one of you know the team that, that can that can place in a show getting second place at that big show was I, I just couldn't be happier um, and I qualified for nationals so that's gonna be my next <laughs> mission <laughs> that we're gonna work on we get a, we get a little bit of time off a little bit of time to relax and prepare and then hit that next goal of hitting the stage at nationals the best we can I'm not genetically gifted I'm not you know, nobody would have ever dreamed that I would be doing anything bodybuilding-esque. And probably some of my professors and teachers through the years would never dream that I would be running a successful construction company with my wife. Um, she does handle a ton of the back office and paperwork and business end and numbers end where I'm more the free thought, free flowing, creative, you know, let's do this, let's do that. Um, and a lot of that applies to this fitness journey that we're on too. Um, she keeps me balanced and tells me, you know, when is too much. You know, when 50 supplement bottles on the kitchen counter is getting a little bit obsessive. And so I think the big thing is that I'm, I'm grateful to have her and to be a part of my home team. I keep talking about Ray Baker, but this is my, this is my main team right here. My wife, Carla. Number 11, Jason Carter.